The more you put in, the more you get out. It's just entirely whatever suits the individual's lifestyle. You've got to be a glass half full, not a glass half empty person. And I think the opportunities are endless. It's just whether you want to put in the effort to get those opportunities or not. Hi, I'm Jonathan Delaney from Jim's Mowing Glen Waverley Lower, and I'm 51 years of age. Previous to Jim's, I'd been in a managing director's role for the last five years and GM senior roles before that, and I've been in the agricultural meat farming industry all my life, uh, fifth generation. On average, I'd spend about four and a half, five months a year away, uh, living between America, Europe and uh, Asia for the last five years, and it was time to slow down and uh, sort of smell the roses a bit. Being from an agricultural farming type background and living in Melbourne, I was not never going to go back to the farm, so this was a great opportunity to be outdoors and stay fit and healthy. One of the splits I bought was uh, from one gentleman who'd been in the industry 16 years, so that with a network of people and, and things like that, it's been a very big help and got me to where we are today. I was retiring. That's right. The following week I was uh, hanging up the tools and uh, after you did the story, yeah, I had a few inquiries from new franchisees wanting to come and talk to me. Jonathan was one of them, and I'm more than happy to talk to new franchisees if I can pass something on that's going to help them in building their business and get themselves established. I'm uh, more than happy. And uh, you know, it's been great, because after hanging up the tools and not working for three or four months, I found I was getting uh, in the bad habits, I was putting on weight, couldn't get back into my clothes and I thought I've got to do something about it and Jonathan came along and said would you like to come and work for me? And I said well I've retired, I don't really want to work full time so I do two to three days a week with Jonathan it works out well for both of us. Ian and I both live in the same suburb so it's been actually a quite a good godsend for me, it's been a very good balancer and uh, to be honest where I've been able to take the business in since the 23rd of November when I started, I would never have got to the same position if it wasn't for the support of Ian and his skill set. As Jonathan says, we're both in the same suburb, we're not far away from each other and anything that I can pass on that I've learned in the 11 years that I had my franchise is that it's going to be of benefit to Jonathan. It's, it's a, you know, a win-win both ways. I don't like sitting around watching TV and not being active and that's the beauty of this uh, industry. You need to be reasonably fit to do the work. Anyone that's got uh, you know, reasonable fitness can uh, you know, certainly do very well with a franchise. I'm a big believer that the harder you work, the luckier you get. I bought a split of 52 clients. 10 weeks later, we're up to 133 regs. The opportunities are abundant if you want them to be there for you. When you join gyms, there's not one way of doing things, there's many ways of doing it. And I'm not saying that my way is the right way. Jonathan learns from uh, what, what he does on the job and uh, any point as I can um, make life easier for him, I pass on to him, but there's more than one way of you know, skinning a cat as they say and uh, uh, there's many ways of doing it. I, I was very confident coming in that it would be everything that everyone says plus more, um, but it exceeded that and, and I think that probably for me the icing on the cake has been probably the effort you put in which is what exceeds that. So everything's there and it can exceed as much as you want if you want to put the effort in and that can't be done for you, that's in the individual component.